Hello, humans and pets. Uh, Mountain Dew. Big Mountain Dew time. Three new flavors. This doesn't happen too often. Red, white, and blue. Um, yeah, we got red, white, and blue. It's for 4th of July. Happy Father's Day. That's the day we're recording. Um, you're not seeing this on Father's Day. No. Nope. But, um, you know, put it out there. Shout out to all the fathers out there. Um, we got three new Mountain Dew flavors, and they all sound kind of... At least interesting. No, oh, I so They all, like, so most of them sound good, and I don't know about that last one. But we'll just break down the flavors. We got Star Spangled Splash. This is a red berry flavored one. So I'm assuming raspberry, strawberry. Mm -hmm. um, this is Freedom Fusion America uh, Lemonade and Peach flavor. Now, that one sounds good. I don't know if um, these are going to be worldwide or if it's just the US. I, didn't, I meant to look that up because um, they're all obviously, I mean, that's the. Yeah. You know, the, the book and the, the right. torch. What's that called? Statue of Liberty. Statue. Wow. Uh, speaking of Liberty, wow. Liberty Chill. This one has 50 flavors in one do. Yeah, so we should go right down the line. Red, white, uh, and blue. I yeah, think. might as well. And, you know, lead cool. up to the more interesting flavor. Maybe not. We got a bottle for this one. Um, I super glued it, if you can't tell. Sheesh. And then we also got the, the cans. You want me to do it? No, I didn't want to come off. That was on there. Wow. Yeah. It's Father's mm -hmm. Day. There you go. I'm weak. We just got back from a five and a half mile walk. So. Yeah, and then after this, we're gonna do it again. Wow, so. yeah. I thought Happy so. Happy Father's Day to me. We don't have to. All right, so this is what fruit. Red fruit? berry. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like a fruit punch. Oh, that's exactly what it smells like. Yeah, that's why I said it. Maybe, but maybe heavier on like the red raspberry type of thing. I didn't yeah, put it well, on I mean, it's probably gonna be like when when you eat fruit punch, what do you get? Like, do you get a citrus? Mm. Like, I'm assuming without that. <laughs> I like that. Tastes like red. Does it um, does? But it, it's not like that red. When, you, when you see red, you're like mm, cherry. Doesn't have the cherry aspect. You definitely get like a red raspberry flavor. I th I think I get cherry, but I don't know if that's just in my head. You know what I mean? Like there could be a hint of it, but it it definitely tastes. It it's got that fruit punch vibe with it with a, with a little bit of a uh, the combination, which you get which like a sweet it. and a sour, like it's what it reminds me of that soda that I talk about all the time. That used to have a fruit punch soda mm. back when I was a kid, three liter bottle, but I don't know what it was. Mm. Well, I guess it was this, right? It could be. I don't hate that at all. Um, this is very this is solid. I'm assuming these are all limited time, unfortunately. <laughs> Probably. So try them while they're here if you want to. But I'm gonna go right into it because I'm gonna have to go back to that one. I I don't uh. I like that one. Yeah. I, I think it's solid. Um, are we, are we, are we can't. Are we, we gonna give numbers or are we gonna give a? I give that a solid like eight. That's up there with one of my favorites. I was gonna say eight because that way it leaves room for improvement and it, it or the thing is it's a big thirst quencher and it's not too sweet wow. so like you can really drink it. So on the nose, if you didn't tell me peach, you're 100 percent getting peach out of this. It's a le peach lemonade, pretty much. Um, which is interesting. You, you get the peach. Do you smell the peach for That's sure? That's all you smell. Yeah. Peach mm. lemonade, man. It really is. They they always are good with naming their flavors and always good with making. I always wondered if they make the flavor and then name it. Like if they're like, let's mix the peach with lemonade and we'll call it the peach lemonade. You know, that really does taste like a good lemonade with peach in it, though. Like you think they made the red flavor and was like, let's call it like a I'm burst sure they of had, red berry. I'm, no, I'm sure they were like, we're going for we're this. going for this. So yeah. If I had to guess, they now, probably had. Half this. is what one do you like better? Now, this one is sweeter, I think. I think this one's more nostalgic. It brings me back to when I used to eat, drink drink uh, the, the, the uh, red. Well, the bug juice. Yeah, when I used to drink like, Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Where you had the fruit punch, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No. They're, they're both pretty refreshing, but we just came back from a walk. So when you when so that might be why they're this so one's good. almost creamier. Like if you go back to it, it yes. almost has more of a creamy texture to These it. These were all in the fridge, so yep. keep that in mind. They're all like chill. Just because I do like this one, I would go eight and I'd go nine on the that lemonade. One. I have to give it like I, a peach cream, like a peach and cream vibe. But I, I you get. But I think that's creamier when you drink it. Like it, oh it, really? It, it I feels, was gonna say the opposite. No, we'll try a little bit of that now. It it has a, it it's a little fuller flavored to me. Like it has more flavor. Mm hmm. No way. The peach shines through. Don't get me wrong, but I think that carries a little bit more. Maybe it's the nostalgia of what I used to drink. Yeah. It just brings more. I think I like this one a tad better. That's why I said go eight nine now. 
You know what I mean? Because that's solid. I wish they made a red berry lemonade. Right. If they put the lemonade in this one, because I like that. The, the lemonade better? I, you know what? I think if they mix them. You don't have to agree with me, but. I'm going to mix the two. Well, I will, but well, hold on. We have to do that. I don't care. Because oh, that one's 50 different flavors. That's a mystery mode. But I, That's a mystery mash Monday. What are you going? I think I have to give the nod Let's to. Let's mash. I'm going to go with both. But I have to give the nod to the red. I like the um, red a little bit better than the peach. And I don't know if that's the flavor or if that's the bottle and can. And I want to do that as a review as well. Because I know they changed the flavor. Yeah, we bottle versus can. We only found one bottle. That's I, why. I want to buy cases of these. Yes. But I want to see how much of a difference that makes. That's really good together, by the way. The peach and the fruit punch, they they, they, they don't com fight. It you don't normally combines. get peach and fruit punch. Not at all. And with lemonade, like that little like. All of that actually works very good together. What's the word? Not is tinge a word? It's a little tidbit of lemonade. It's not really prominent um, yeah. in the flavor. The peach mm -hmm. definitely overtakes the lemonade, yeah. but it's a nice little sweetness, yeah. and you get a little bit of a. It, it makes it more complex. Like this one's already complex, and then these two flavors are complex together. Yep. Um, they go together well. It, very, it, 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 it 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 seems like something that should go together, but you would think. Either a peach would overrun the fruit Man. punch or the fruit punch would overrun the peach, but they actually gel together well. Mountain Dew, if you ever uh, need a new flavor, just mix these two and call it something different. Right. Because I will buy this. That is very this good. This is better than Baja Blast. But which one, like which one do you like better? Um, Which one do I like better? If you're drinking, yeah. We've got to try to rate it. I'm going eight, nine. I think this one <sighs> just, and I, it Would might I be this just an eight. If, That's rough. Well, you said that eight, but I, I, this, I want, I didn't want to say seven to make it sound less. So I'm giving this an eight, and I'm gonna bump that one to a nine because I, yeah. this one just to me, it, it, if I had to grab one of the yes. two, I would grab the red first. Not that I wouldn't grab this one, but I would it's always so much better mix. Like it's they, like they, a they, twelve out of ten. Like that's my favorite Mountain Dew flavor is when we mix the two of them, uh, which is stupid. Which one do you um, like better? It always works though. I know it does. I want to give that one. I, I can't give that one lower than an eight. No. That's, a, that's like a top tier soda for me. So you think this one's a little better? I want to say that one's a little better, but I really think it just depends on my mood. Because this one's a little less here. sweet. I find this one sweeter. Yep. And this one's a different, complete different flavor. I think I would have to go, I'd be more inclined to drink this one. But okay. I think I like that one more. Okay. How my mind works, okay? Yep. I always say that for you a lot are, of things. Uh, you are a state of I'm confusion, gonna, I'm, for sure. I don't want to be that guy, but I have to give them both eights. You, you can do that. You can, can do can that. Can I, though? You can. I hate when people do that. You can, that. but I, to me... It's like giving everything eight here. No, it's but, like, come on. I, I'm at that. I didn't want to call that a seven because I really liked it. I can't give it a seven. But I think the I red... I don't know if I can give it a nine. I can. Because I red. don't know if I like it more than the other one. I, I think I do, just for nostalgia reason. So, we'll guzzle it down. We're, we're on the blue now. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now, so Mountain Dew has like 23. Walk. I mean, not Mountain Dew, sorry. Dr. Pepper's made with 23 or 24 different flavors. That's okay. their selling point. And this one has 50. This one has 50, and it looks like a like a blue melted popsicle. And it smells like a. Like when, when I cracked it, I was like, I actually smelled the can because yeah. I could smell it as soon as I cracked it from over there. It smells like a blue slush, like it does have blue, like that, blue raspberry smell. And I'm assuming maybe I don't know if it, if they have 50 flavors, but it'd be sick if they mixed them all. But this is kind of like the Halloween edition, where it's a mystery flavor. I'll tell you. I don't know how you feel about it. Oh man, this one might like it has more of a it's sugary, heavy texture. blue raz. Mm -hmm. It's more of a syrup. Mm -hmm. Less, yeah. I really like that one. I think if it, I put ice and let it melt, or if I watered it down, I'd like it more. It, I think it's too. To me, strong. it brings me to the, the to the blue on a on a on, on, the, bomb on, pop, a, on the bomb pop. pop. It really tastes like the blue on a bomb pop. I actually really like this one. You ever have a Johnny Pop? No, I don't know what that is. I don't know. They sell it in stores. Um, they say it's like the best popsicle. I know multiple people who like only get that. I don't know what one I like we'll, best. Maybe we'll try one day. Leave a comment if you know what I'm talking about. I hate to give them a 10 out of 10, but I, th I, I, I think I like the blue. I don't know if... See, blue raspberry is such like a... I don't know if it's artificial. I don't think blue raspberries exist. I don't care what this is. This, this tastes delicious. It brings as me... It does I. bring me closer to the uh, the voodoo. Yeah. Oh, I don't, with I, with I the sweetness and yeah, the... Yeah. 
Well, not like a certain voodoo. Oh, man, every, someone's walking away. Every voodoo's different, right? right? Cause it, but it's all supposed to be candy. I'm sorry for the barking. Um, silly puppy. But you, you have these, like... You more can't, sugary you can't than the pinpoint other ones. the flavor. Yeah. And I wish they, they they named it, like... All the other ones are like, that's a berry, berry mode. This is a... That is peach heaven. It's man. so that, peach, that, that and this is so red. Peach. Whatever, that, everything that's red is in that. You got yeah. a little blood in there, probably. Now go and just. I just wanted to try a little bit. When this is like creamy and silky, and and very of that blue raspberry so slush blue. flavor. But when you go back to the peach, that that peach explodes yes. in your mouth. Like there's way more flavor <laughs> in here. Being that this has fifty flavors. It, 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 that will go in. And this Peach is, is, is like, bam, it jumps at you. And the red jumps out at you. They all jump out at you. And I think, I don't know if I could drink a whole can of that. So I'm going to give that a seven. I like the flavor, but it's so sweet. And it's so like. This is a bomb pop. I don't, don't want to say one note, but the worst part of a bomb pop is trying to drink it. I can't drink sh like super sweet sugary things for me. I'm, I'm, like, do, I'm doing American drink right here, red, white, and blue. I'll join you because I don't really uh, want to go anymore. Pour more of that blue one. Um, I'll give These that one a very seven sweet. or a six. But I'm trying to think which one I like better. If it was a little watered down or if like I made a snow cone and yeah. poured that over it, it would be great. You know the funny thing is, um, as much as I like this one, I have to give the fact that the red and the white have more pizzazz. And this, is, on this one is a little bit more... Just you just get that blue raspberry, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I think I would have to go nine eight seven or nine eight seven point five because this is close. But I think if I was gonna grab one, you would grab the blue one. I, I think I'm putting that last. Really? Yeah, I, just because I do like the blue one. I don't know if I could drink the whole can. That's what I mean. It, it, because with these two, the flavor yes. kind of pops out more. For sure. And this is kind of more like just that syrupy, like I want to make a snow cone out yes. of it. Yes. You if, know what if, I mean? If you have like a mixed drink that would call for that, uh, right? then it would be good. Or um, you put this over like some crushed ice. So, you know, you, so it's kind of like you an icy going on it. You, you know what I mean? If you had like the ice crushed with ice. water it down for yeah. me. Like if, if you put it with ice and you let the ice melt and then you with, add more ice. Where these two kind of pop. And this one's kind of yes. like thicker. So you want to make almost like a snow cone. It out tastes of it. like when it, say you like um made like you just poured water and rather than like instead of using like a soda fountain to get the drink, mm -hmm. you um you just pour the the syrup that normally goes into the soda fountain into the drink. Right. Like I'm the wondering if it's gonna get. Coke. I tried to pour the same amount Not in each. The drink, but like I'm wondering if it's gonna it. get lost because I'm thinking the on the nose, yeah. I smell the peach and I smell the fruit punch. I don't I don't get the blue raspberry. Just smell. I get the blue because I, I I think I put a lot in there. I try to do even. Oh, that's really. I try to though. match the color. They are so, good. You know what? They they are all solid. It's it, funny because you get the peach, yeah. and you get the blue, and you get the red, but you still get the lemonade if you look hard yeah. enough. What is actually funny? Like you is, feel like it would get drowned out. As growing up before we did this channel, I might have had one Mountain Dew in my whole life. Honestly, like I yeah, would nothing I and would ever drink. To me, I think the original Mountain Dew is one of their. Most lacking flavors. I'm just like, it was right? never anything I grabbed. Am I wrong by like, saying that? It was just like, it, it was, I never had a reason to drink a Mountain Dew. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just never did. And honestly, they should sponsor us now. We've drank more Mountain Dew on this channel than any soda we've had. And you know what? They I, hit it out of the pocket almost I bet every time. We've done more Mountain Dews than any establishment. It's just because we do a voodoo every year, yeah, and then we've tried so many of the other like every we've flavor, tried every flavor we could get, even if it's not new. We were just right. like, let's try cold red and voltage, nope, 100%. And um, yeah, and then they have Baja Blast in the can now. I think it's like the 10th anniversary or something, it's, it's the I, anniversary I for Baja Blast. So happy Baja Blast! I will say that uh, every one of these are worthy of a try. I mean, they really nailed their flavors. This does come off like a fruit punch, raspberry right. flavor. This is, is pitch lemonade all day long, and this hits blue raspberry. So if you want to try yeah. any of them, they nail the flavors. Yeah. I really think they nail the Red, white, and blue. I think you're – I don't know what else they could do. It's so actually good all together. The peach too. lemonade, I what, – what else would – so that's a good question because they have red flavor and blue flavor, of course, on the dot. But white flavor, they put peach and lemonade. What would be your white flavor? Like they have white peaches, which are all right. I, I think I like what they did because they made it light and bright, and that's just yeah. It's but just it, good. if you could pick a different white flavor, I would go with like a a, a 
grapefruit, like a white grapefruit. They have a white and a pink grapefruit too. But I, I, yeah. I mean, like, like I do like that fresco, like but fresco. not everybody likes that. But you, I guess you can't really knock a fresco. No, like because like, fresco's the best that does that. No, right? No, you just reminded me because they actually have a hard fresco now. I want to try yeah, that. Yeah, I think try Steve that. actually less cash, more mash. They do whiskey and alcohol but, reviews. Play fun games, but too. I, I, because I, I do want to try because fresco growing up that was something my grandma always had in the fridge and. When we had the gas, I was like, oh, we got to drink a Fresco. But then I didn't have it for like 30 years. And then when you have one now, you're like, oh, I like that. It's kind of good. I mean? But as a kid, you're like, I just wanted the Coke. It is a strong <laughs> flavor, though. Yeah. Like, so if, if you're not really too fond of that flavor, you're going to stay well, away. Well, maybe because when you're not used to it, you know, like we didn't When, when I think of this flavor, it reminds me of the one G Fuel. We, well, I think we tried two. But the Sonic yeah, the, one with the yeah, peach rings. With the peach, yeah. Because it was like yep. Sonic rings or whatever. I really like that peach. That's growing on me. Which is, it's funny, because it's peach rings, but there's also the candy that's peach rings. Yeah. But it's Sonic, because of the rings. Yeah. So I don't know if they did the rings, because of the... No, I don't. It's, 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 Which way? Yeah, do you, we tried peach this, rings this, on the channel. Yep, this one's actually growing on me, this this peach. I not only did that, I, I, I threw I, peach rings in whiskey. I Yeah, I remember that. You can go find that one. Did I help you put them in? You did. Yeah. All this stuff. These are three great flavors. Honestly, I, I thought this was lacking, but then when you just drink it, it's it's strong. It's, it's solid. It's, it's strong. Just, it's, and I think that's why it deters me. Yeah. But you, well, the funny thing is you didn't like the Blue Lash. We, we did Fanta had one, I think it was, or yeah. somebody else. And you didn't like it then well, either. I didn't mind it. You also got it is strong. back in the day before the channel, um, we, we were getting Hawaiian Punch all the time. Yeah. And you got a big jug of the blue flavor, the yes, blue raspberry yeah, one. Yeah, mistake. No, well, you got the lemon berry instead of the red punch. Mm -hmm. That one was by mistake. But you want you wanted to try the blue one for snow right. cones, and right. then it just didn't snow that year or whatever. Yep. And we had it in the fridge forever, and you drank it all. I'm almost changing my but, mind. That red one's good, but man, these other two are freaking. It's just whenever I drink something blue raspberry, it's really hot out. Yeah. And the the syrup just it doesn't make me feel good. Right. So like I'd rather go with a grape or something else. But yeah. I I think if if you're a scientist and you work on like fruit and stuff. You should make a blue raspberry. Like, I think they have one that's like kind of mimics the flavor, but like make the raspberry blue and have that flavor. Yeah. You can make cotton candy great. There you go. We babbled on long enough with this. Whatever. I recommend all three. I almost agree I think, with Ryan. The more I keep yeah. going back to them, any given day, any given time, I drink all three of these. Unfortunately, I think they're limited time. I'm assuming so for 4th of July. But right now when we're recording this, it's not July. Is it July? No, it's June. Yeah, it's June. So like, it's not July yet. So you have plenty of time to get in them, and I'm sure they'll last oh, a little bit sure. after Yeah, the because they just started coming in the stores. Correct. Because they haven't. Um, we've been checking for them for a while. Yeah, we had to go to a bunch of stores to find the blue can. Yeah, the blue that, was that, sold out. That the 50 seems to be the flavors. one everyone's looking for. Because well, it's 50 different flavors. You well, we, we found is. yeah, because we found a white at first, and then red. We 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 found yeah. that, we finally found that. But we we were trying to get singles. Just in case we they were, were terrible. To get all in bottle, right? Because we didn't want a to drink a bunch of soda, and well, we have it, plenty downstairs. We have a bunch that that he's like, "Oh, I liked it," and then he's like, "I don't like it anymore." So well, I got like case after we, case. We get it for the case. reviews, yeah. And then, but that's why I like, like I like I like doing the singles instead. That way you don't have uh, right. This is actually very good all together. It's good though when somebody comes over and wants a soda. We we're like, come that. downstairs. We have like eighty different flavors, yeah, and they're all different ones. So we have some of the voodoo's. Yes. From years past. But when we hit five different... I think we only have... We have three? Or yeah. four? Three? We might have three. So yeah. when we hit five, maybe we'll do a big... Um, I don't know how long you want to keep them, but... Yeah. Yeah, well... I think we have, you know, I think we have we'll three years. I think we have. So, all right. He's going to annoy everybody. Yeah, he's barking. There it is. There's the Mountain Dew review. Uh, again, if you guys tried these, what's your favorite flavor? Leave a comment down below. You how you them, rank them? Mix them all. If, if, you, if you're going to try all the flavors... And, of course, you don't want to open them all at once. If it's in a bottle, it's a little different. But you have to mix them all. Because, like, like we do it on the channel if we have multiple drinks on the mm -hmm. table. And every single time, no matter if it's Monster or Mountain Dew, you know, all the M's, M&M. &M. And I don't know if it's just the three colors or not, but it does bring me to a bomb pop. And I don't know if it's just that one that's making me think that way. Yes. It's probably that one that's just bringing I, me there. Well, that one just tastes, they all kind of taste, it's also like a color thing. Yeah. Like, but the red one tastes red, and the bomb pop tastes red, They're just and then good. that one tastes blue, and the bomb pop. You know what I mean? But the white tastes like lemon, and it's actually lime. Yeah, but I like lime. I, I just like lime. Yeah, I just I always find that funny because I never knew that until it said yeah. it on a box. I I so. thought it was lemon too for yeah. the longest time, but yeah. they're similar. Yeah, they are. 
Um, th- that's like I don't know to answer my question. I don't know what I would put for the white can. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you change for the white flavor? I I think they nailed it. I it's think what it. they have is delicious. I get I think peach might solid. not be white, but I don't care. Well, they have white I, peaches. They just went red, white, and blue. That's yeah. all. That's all they were looking for. But, but I actually. The more I keep going back to it, yes. that white might become my favorite. Like right now, I think so because it is light and bright, and it's just really good. I actually he has the same opinion. Yeah, I actually like this. I, it might be the most refreshing on there because yes. this one's getting thick the more I drink it, and this one's kind of thick the more I drink it. This is light and bright. I'm almost giving out that my favorite right now because it, it does. Yeah, and it dominates when you put the three in there. I think that peach flavor. Right. It just really shines through. And if you have any suggestions, I know we've said it a bunch, but leave a comment. If you want to see us do thick water, we'll do it. If you want to see us, I want to do a... a restaurant instead of thick water. Well, speaking of restaurant, I want to do a soda is bottle versus can versus fountain. Which one is the best? I think that's all the the different types you can get, right? Yeah. Bottle, soda, fountain. There's no other one. Well, you'd have to pick a brand and then just get one of each. Yeah, so we'd probably pick one we like. But if you guys want to see that, I'd like to... We did a lemonade lineup. We might as well do that. So well, We can do that. Um, pick a couple different ones. Yeah. And then, you know... We, we'd have then, to do them all warm, though. Yeah. We, and it's hard to get bottles in warm, but I know they have like six packs. We'll figure it out. Okay. But leave, leave a comment down below. We're getting new mics soon, so stay tuned for a big quality upda- upgrade. Let's hope it's quality upgrade. Um, it definitely will be. All right. Um, but, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, check out Last Cash Mo Mash. I make music. P.O. Box in the description, and I hope you enjoyed the video.